It's not really that hard. Um, there's a few different ways of doing this. You could just redirect the root domain to the subdirectory where you installed WordPress. You could just move it up the directory. Um, there's a few different things that you can do, but I'm just going to do it uh, one way. No doubt other people will have suggestions on how they're going to do it, whatnot, and feel free to chime in. Um, so I've got my site here in the home directory. I'm going to log into my control panel now and move the sites from, move the files from the test site that I've set up. So I'll just uh, get that there. I changed the theme too. I got bored with the other one. Um, so I'm going to move the file in the directory up to the root level. So to do that I need to log into my control panel. I'm just going to go into the file manager and locate the test file where I put the site. Now I'm in the site and here is my folder test1 and you can see that I've got the files on here that are on the root of the domain which is these HTML files from the Excite Pro site. And you'll see that there's an index HTML file there already. Um, the thing is, when you've got two index files in the same directory, the HTML file will take precedence generally over the PHP file that's in WordPress. So I just need to remember that I've got that index HTML file there and because it will need to be deleted once I've moved the new sites over. Actually, I can delete that now and always remember to keep a copy. So I'm going to delete that. And I can always get it out of my bin if things go janky. Now I need to move these test, the files inside the test folder need to move them into the actual root. So I'm going to go through here and tick all of these folders. Now I've selected them all, I'm going to right click and I'm going to move them. And <coughs> I need to tell it where I want it to move. So I want it to move into this folder here. Select the files you wish to move by clicking on their icon and drag them to the folders or and press move. So I want all of these and over to here I'm going to say move files. Now if I go into the DTV folders um, I can see that I've got the WP files in here. These are all the WP files and I've still got those stray um, bits of the old site there that I can delete out when I fancy and the index.php file is the WordPress one and this is all WordPress with the WP there. There's nothing in this test folder anymore, see nothing there, so I can delete that if I wish. So I'll just delete that folder because it's just waste of space now. Now at this stage we're not going into our site at all so don't try and log in or anything like that. Now we need to do a few more little things. Okay, now we can go into PHP My Admin. This is my preferred way to do this. You can do this from the WordPress backend as well. Um, going to go into PHP My Admin. So now that you're in PHP My Admin, the crucial thing is of course that you need to know what your database is. If you don't remember that, just search for your email that you got from WordPress when you installed WordPress on that particular site. So I know that this is database number 44. So then we need to click on WP Options over here and this will bring up this here for you. So we need to go in and change the blog ID. So I'm just going to click on browse over here.
and you can see that we can see the site URL here. So I'm just going to alter that. So to alter that I click on the little pencil edit and instead of having test one I'm just going to alter it to the root and press go. And that's reset. Now I need to browse to the next page or wherever it may be on your database because I need to change the home file which is over here where it says home and we're still in that WP options and we're still in the browse mode. I just need to find uh, home here and click the little pencil again to edit that. So we're now changing the home page. I click go to save it. And now again if I keep um, scrolling through um, you can see that the upload path is to the test site still. So if we wanted the upload path um, to the new root domain we need to edit that as well. So press the little pencil again. And I'm going to remove that test site and press go. See that that's been changed now. Just going to have a quick look through the other pages on here to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything else that needs to be changed. And I don't think I am, but better to be sure than sorry. So go over to the next page. And uh, no, can't see anything. Just one more to go. And that's all. So now I'm going to go back and log into the site. Now the other thing I do want to say before I move on is that there are a number of ways to do this. I'm going to put some links below this video to another tutorial that I think you might find useful. It's not by me, it's by somebody else. Um, and just so that you can see different ways of doing the same thing. And now I'm in the, uh, you can't see my browser, but now I'm in the uh, root of my domain. And there we go, I've just copied the browser for you so you can see that that's the root of my domain. No more test site. Um, and that didn't take long at all in PHP my admin and we can see that um, we've got the site all moved over all the pages are there and this is really a lot safer than um, you know doing things um, straight up we've got our all our pages and everything's all sorted. Um, as I said, I'm going to put a link to another tutorial there that you might want to use as well. And the other thing is that now that we've got that, we can go and uh, clean up our uh, root directory because remember we had these, uh, whoops, ticking everything here. Um, we had these other pages here, gosh, stop that now. Um, from the original site so we can just clean those up and remove those. I like to have a clean thing as long as you know that the site's all right then you can move them but always keep a backup of everything you know just in case something does go janky. Um, and the other thing that uh, you might need to do is if you had any sort of stray pages just check make sure that they are all displaying properly um, otherwise use the redirection plugin gave you the link to it to make sure that all those initial index pages if you had any of them um, redirect properly to the new URLs that you would have installed. Okay um, that's the end of this video